Here we go again. Manuel Ugarte keeps waiting for Man United as he's agreed on personal terms two weeks ago. He wants United. Man United and PSG remain in contact, loan with obligation also discussed. Outgoings key for Man United but Ugarte remains top target. Sofian Amrabat, also on list. Meanwhile, Nusser Mazraoui is set to fly to England to complete his move to Manchester United in the coming days. According to Foot Mercado, an agreement has now been reached with Bayern Munich to sign the 26-year-old fullback. The German giants have given Mizrawi permission to travel to Manchester and finalize the deal. He has already agreed personal terms on a five-year deal with the option of a further year. However, Matthijs de Ligt has started pre-season training with Bayern Munich as a deal to join Manchester United continues to stall. Having been granted an extended summer leave following his run to the European Championship semi-finals, the Dutchman is now back in Bavaria. After being left out of Vincent Kompany's initial touring squad for the trip to Asia, De Ligt appears to have now returned to his club's German base with the Bundesliga campaign just around the corner. De Ligt is yet to play a part due to his run to the latter stages of Euro 2024 and had looked close to joining United. However, things have been delayed after no agreement over a price was reached. Personal terms with the 24-year-old were in the bag over four weeks ago. United are now closing in on a deal to bring in De Ligt's teammate and former Ajax colleague for Eric Ten Hag, Nusser Mazraoui. They will have to wait to continue negotiations for De Ligt himself, that's after he updated fans on his summer plans online. Writing on Instagram, he confirmed he was in pre-season mode. De Ligt now appears to be focused on getting himself ready for whatever is to come in the next four weeks. Bayern start their Bundesliga season on August 25th, while the summer window is open for one week more than that. United have less time before the Premier League gets underway. They face Fulham on August 16th. In other news, Eric Ten Hag has tipped Harry Amass to break into the Manchester United first team. The Red Devils boss said, He is not that far along now, as Maynou was at this moment. But if we train him well, if we coach him well, then in three months, it's possible that he can be at that point. But in this moment, he needs to catch up, and he has to develop some of the skills needed to play for Manchester United when we are competing for the highest position in the league. But with big talent it can go very quickly, and it is very interesting to see if he is capable of doing this. On the other side, Marcus Rashford has been pictured in Manchester United's latest training session. Rashford was running the show on Thursday's 3-2 victory over Real Betis, until he hobbled off in pain after a heavy challenge on his ankle. But manager Eric Ten Hag is confident the forward will recover from his injury quickly. The England international rejoined his teammates for practice in the US and looked to be in high spirits. On the other hand, Manchester United are interested in recruiting the services of Real Madrid centre-back Joan Martinez and are monitoring his situation, according to Spanish outlet Diario AS. The 16-year-old was thrown into action for his unofficial debut by manager Carlo Ancelotti in the friendly 1-0 loss against AC Milan in the early hours of Thursday, coming on for the second half. The incredible Martinez impressed, preventing a potential goal following an exceptional challenge on Alex Jimenez in the 84th minute. It appears Man United have been monitoring the teenage sensation for a while, but they are not the only Premier League club keen on him with Chelsea also interested. Martinez only joined Madrid last year after nine years as a youth player for Levante, snubbing the likes of Barcelona, Sevilla, Valencia, Atletico Madrid, and Villarreal in the process. Man United love what they have seen from the kid, but they have a slim chance of luring him away from the Santiago Bernabeu club as he dreams of following in the footsteps of his idol and former Madrid captain Sergio Ramos. The Red Devils want to strengthen their defensive ranks this summer, especially after Lenny Yoro got ruled out for three months. But a move for Martinez is not thought to be on the cards this year. The Spain Youth International will not be in a rush to start playing regular first-team football. But he has started knocking on the door, and Man United could be looking to use the promise of senior football to tempt him if he does not get the chance at Madrid. The manager of the Red Devils, Eric Ten Hag, has never hesitated to hand teenagers a chance if they are good enough, and Martinez could emerge as a serious option in the near future if he keeps impressing and the opportunity presents itself. On the other side, Man United boss has discussed the fitness of Rashford, Hoyland, 
Lenny Yoro, and Anthony. Two Reds have already been ruled out of our first ever visit to the Williams Bryce Stadium in Colombia, with Rasmus Hoyland and Lenny Yoro missing through injury after being substituted early during our friendly against Arsenal. Yoro, who signed for the club last month, is set to be absent for around three months with a foot injury. Meanwhile, Hoyland was withdrawn shortly after scoring the opener versus the Gunners, and the Dane faces around six weeks on the sidelines due to a hamstring problem. There were also a couple of injury questions following Wednesday's 3-2 victory over Real Betis in San Diego. Goal scorer Marcus Rashford left the field limping after 62 minutes of the match at the Snapdragon Stadium, while Anthony was swapped out during the closing stages. Eric Ten Hag said it was too early to say whether the pair would be available for the game over on the East Coast. We have to wait, said the boss. Of course we don't go into risk. Going into the season next week already, into an important game against Manchester City. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag has said he will assess whether Jadon Sancho will continue to play in the false nine role after Joshua Xerxes joins up with the team. The manager said, I think we have to assess next week where we are, and they are in two very different situations. Jadon is in a preseason, in the tour. Joshua had played in the Euros, then had his break, and now started training in this week. So next week we have to assess those, and we will pick a team that's capable to win the cup in the last game of preseason against Manchester City. Additionally, Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that Alejandro Garnacho has returned to training, while Lisandro Martinez is expected to begin on Monday. He said, of course we have a plan for every individual where they have to show up, and that plan is now running. Alejandro will already tomorrow start training. Licha will start on Monday so I have it in my mind, and that there is a plan and the need for every player in the offseason. We know every player where they are fitness-wise, and next week, we have to bring everything together. On the other side, Manchester United are reportedly still considering Ivan Tony as an option to reinforce the squad following the injury to Rasmus Hoyland. Previous reports have stated a move to Tony was very unlikely after signing Joshua Xerxes from Bologna earlier this month. However, the injury to Hodgland has left Xerxes as their only striker, who is unproven in the Premier League. Hodgland is set to be out for six weeks after sustaining a hamstring issue during the friendly defeat to Arsenal. The 21-year-old will miss the Community Shield against Manchester City, the opening Premier League fixture at home to Fulham, the away game against Brighton, and the visit of Liverpool. He could be available after the September internationals, but that will leave Eric Ten Hag short of options in attack. The Telegraph reports United could do a U-turn on Tony with the Dutch boss, thought to be keen on signing another attacker. It has been reported the Brentford star remains an option, despite youngster Cheeto Obi Martin agreeing a move to Old Trafford after leaving Arsenal. Transfer journalist Fabrizio Romano had claimed that one of the key reasons for Obi Martin deciding to join United was that he had been assured he would be third choice for the forthcoming season. It had been claimed that Obi Martin would predominantly play for the club's academy, but also have first-team opportunities when needed. United reviving their interest in Tony, however, would represent a U-turn on that stance. As for Tony, there is a high possibility he will leave Brentford after four seasons this summer, but there has been a lack of interest compared to the January window. This has prompted the Bees to lower their asking price to less than 50 millions of pounds from 80 millions of pounds, according to the Daily Mail. The striker was part of former England boss Gareth Southgate's squad, who reached the final of Euro 2024. However, after an eight-month betting ban, Tony has struggled for form. Meanwhile, former United midfielder Paul Scholes has recently urged the club to sign a striker who could guarantee them goals next season. I think they've had one young one last year in Rasmus Hoyland, who they have had to rely on, and it was a little bit unfair. He's a young player, still learning the game. Whether that man is out there, I don't know. But I think they need somebody who is proven and go on and be successful next year. Tony would fit that profile scoring 21 goals and providing 5 assists in 35 appearances in all competitions during the 2022-23 season.